We're back, Wrestling Observer Live here on Sunday. It's me, Andrew Zarian. I'm not Brian Alvarez. I'm Andrew Zarian. Brian's off today. Brian needs off on Sundays. <laughs> that, that guy is the hardest working man in, in broadcasting when it comes to this kind of stuff. He, he's all over the place doing like 500 shows. Guys, if you, if you want to enjoy this, if you're listening to this, you're very much aware of what you're listening to. But head on over to WrestlingObserver.com. You can subscribe, become a member. I've been a member since probably the 2000s. My uncle was a subscriber. Or so he says. Maybe he had a friend that would get the newsletter and he would pass it over to him. I don't think my uncle paid for much. <laughs> you know, he, he, would, he would somehow finagle his way and get the Observer and bring it over to my house. But this is pretty cool. We're here. Uh, we're going to be here every Sunday. For two hours. This week, we're doing one hour. But we're going to be here for two hours. Next week, uh, we'll be here for two hours. Recapping everything that happened with full gear and everything else happening. Uh, AEW, let's dive into this. Uh, a lot happened on Dynamite. Uh, Dynamite was a rewritten show. Uh, as everybody knows, John Moxley is out for uh, a while. For a little while. Yeah. Uh, Tony Khan made the announcement that he checked himself in to uh, a rehab. Uh, I, I, I never feel comfortable talking about these things for sure. Um, uh, you know, and, and it's, it's always difficult because you, you, you don't know what to say. You don't know what the state of mind is. I, I know that, you know, John Moxley, uh, not super well, but you, you guys are very friendly. You and Dave did a tremendous job with him, uh, had interviewed him for his book. I have his book. I just got it. Actually. The I got the John Moxley the book. Awesome. I haven't read book, it yet. Yeah. I know that you have the book. You've been reading it. Uh, very excited to get into this. Uh, but you know, I, I think there was a lot of criticism that got put out there as to, should this have been public? Mm -hmm. The guy wanted it public. And, and I think he wanted it public for a reason. He's a very transparent guy, right? Mm -hmm. He, in his previous wrestling life, he was working for a company that didn't want anything to be out. That was real. His wife got scolded for mentioning that she tested positive for COVID-19 uh, and that's just the way that the way that he goes. He just he wants things to be out there and he wants his version of the story out there. And uh, yeah, I commend him for it. Like, yeah. you know, he's he one of the reasons why he connects with that fan base is because they feel that he's being real with the you know, with the people. So it was on Tuesday, right? So, yes, when we were recording on Tuesday, I was told that he's like right at the end of the show. I was told that he may not be on the pay-per-view. And I was like, oh, okay. And I thought maybe it's an injury. But when, you know, the word came as to what happened, you know, I, I I thought it was very unique and different for Tony Khan to make it so public and CM Punk to come out there and, and address this to the audience because you don't really see that curtain pulled back. I mean, you, you always see the wink and the nod and breaking the fourth wall and stuff like that. But this is a very real subject. Yeah. There is a direct comparison to WWE, which is, AJ Styles, like he's supposedly ha dealing with something as well. Not that he has to tell us that, that that's whatever what it I'm is, saying, yeah. but it just shows you the different thought process behind both companies when it comes thought to thought process. Of, mm -hmm. uh, and also the individual, yeah. you know, and, you know, we're fans of John Moxley. Absolutely. Uh, we're fans and of the human AJ being, Styles. the human being, John Moxley yeah. as well, the performer and the person. And, you know, there's nothing more. When you hear something like this, you just want the best for that person. 100%. Uh, and he's going to come back. He's going to kick butt. And he's going to be fantastic. Uh, oh, absolutely. But absolutely. there's a change now with full gear. And uh, last minute change, Miro filled in for him. Uh, I, th I think I teased it a little bit on Twitter when I posted <laughs> sure that Miro did. thing. And, and a lot of people got, they didn't understand what was happening. Oh, the, pe the people that I yeah. talked to, they definitely knew. And they were yeah. like, oh, here we go. Scoop Zarian. <laughs> it happens sometimes. You it's like happens. that nickname? Scoop Zarian? Yeah. He, that, that's his thing. Yeah, he, I, I'm into it. I'm fine with that. Scoop Zarian. I've been called far worse. That is true. I've seen you get called far worse. Far worse all the time. Uh, but we do have uh, a full gear rundown here, obviously. Uh, AEW World Championship. You're going to have Kenny Omega versus Hangman Page. Is this the moment for Hangman? We'll find out. I'm going to say yes. Do you think yes? Or you think know, so? he's going to kick out of the one wing angel. You know, they did make a point last week by saying nobody's ever kicked out of it. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they've they they've made that point a couple times on TV. So maybe it's time to do that. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, these two are going to have a fantastic match. AW Women's World Championship, Britt Baker and Tay Conti. Uh, we got Britt Baker's boots here. I don't know if you guys saw this. My buddy Bob <laughs> won them in an auction and he gifted them to me. 750 bucks he paid for these. I know. It's, it's But it went to a good charity. It went to a great cause. It looks great yeah. in the setup, too. It looks fantastic in the setup. 
you guys could see it here. If you're watching a video on, on Twitch or on YouTube, you can see it right there. Uh, you also have AW World Tag Team Championship on the line. Lucha Brothers versus FTR. This is going to be a fantastic match. Mm-hmm. World, World Title Eliminator Tournament Finals. A lot of words in that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Danielson and Miro. Uh, you know, I think this is set up for Danielson. Uh, then, then you go into the conversation of, is it going to be a Danielson and Hangman Page match? Is that the match that we need to see? I don't think so. I don't want to see that yet. Because that means that someone's either turning or someone someone's losing when they shouldn't lose. So if it is possible, I, I, I think for both people, right? Because Hangman shouldn't lose this. But also, I don't think the match should be Danielson and Hangman. It should be Kenny and and Danielson at this point. What do you, what do you think, Rich? You know, it's very interesting because when you throw this sort of like figurative booking monkey wrench into an ideal plan, you're right. I don't me. I don't want to see Danielson versus Hangman. I also don't want to see Miro versus Hangman. I don't want to see that either. But I have no problem seeing it on Dynamite. But, but for some reason, I'll take Kenny retaining versus Danielson or Miro over Hangman versus any of these. I don't know why. It's just like a weird gut instinct. What about you, Gary? If he doesn't win this match, that is some long-term storytelling because all his his entire story is like, you know, this redemption thing, right? So that they would be pushing that out and they would I don't know. That that'd be very interesting. I I, mm-hmm. I wonder if he would lose too much by by not winning here, but you know, I I'm open to to stuff they t- they tell stories in a pretty intricate way and they like to lay things out and things mean thing you know th- small steps mean bigger things so yeah if that is the if that is their decision then i i would be very interested to see what happens but i just feel like if he doesn't win like man like th- this is I don't know that it would kill him, but I don't. I I I mean, it won't be good for him if he loses. I'll tell you that. But we'll find out. Minneapolis Street Fight, the Inner Circle, versus the man, the Men of the Year, along with Junior Dos Santos, uh, Arlovski, Arla- Andre Arlovski, Andre Arlovski. I I always have a difficult and Dan Lambert, which I think is hysterical. I think I, I thought. I thought Paige Van Zant was going to do it. <laughs> I well, really thought she, uh, she's she's throwing a shot at Jericho somehow in this match for sure. Yeah. By the way, did you watch UFC last night? I I I mean, I wish I could have gone you to were, UFC. You, were, you know, if I if I had pushed, I had, I could have had tickets for UFC last night. Supposedly an amazing yeah. show. Uh, the garden was bumping. Uh, the establishment that I work at, I I you know the the nightclub that I'm affiliated with in some capacity, <laughs> they were slammed slammed all of manhattan was slammed I, yeah. I thought it was it was good for business for new york but yeah. very cool show uh you know i think inner circle t- should take this fight the, well, the Minneapolis lambert's fight. lambert's in there to lose right yeah that, like, he's in there like, to lose and get, and get buried yeah, yeah. Huh. uh false can anywhere match jurassic express and christian versus the super click young bucks and adam cole all right cool match i'm into this uh, Darby Allen versus MJF, CM Punk versus Eddie Kingston, New Jap- and New Japan. Oh, that's not that's in my notes, but not what I needed. Uh, <laughs> New Japan is running a show after Okada versus uh, Buddy Matthews. That, I will be there live. <laughs> you oh, you go. It's in San Jose. Oh, so, very so, cool. Uh, I'll tell you quickly the, yeah. the layout. We're gonna go to Dave's at five to watch the pay per view until about seven fifteen, seven thirty. Shoot out. 15 minutes to the old Civic Auditorium, depending on how long that New Japan show is. And after that's over, shoot back to Dave's and watch the last two matches of the pay-per-view. So I, I don't know I, how I'm not going to get spoiled, but you know, I, that's I think, a long night. I think Observer needs to uh, have, like, a voyeur cam. Like, you, you pay – I would pay, like, 50 bucks for this just to watch Dave watching a, a, a show. Like, I, I want to know what that experience is like when he's watching a pay-per-view and taking his notes, because it has to be intense for you. I, I just find it interesting at the stuff that he pops at, like yeah. the things that he gets really excited at. Love it. Uh, but, you know, a lot of times we're talking, like, with just a bunch of people there. And then, you know, when 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 something is important, we'll, we'll sort of pull it down so that he could focus 100 If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. 
Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the join button, sign up today. You can also click subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.